right now, daily, before and after. You want to do, you want to set a goal. You want to set a goal. You want to have a goal. You don't want to go to the event without having a personal, specific goal. Because the event, in some cases, it works like a GPS. So if you have a map, if you have a GPS, but you don't know the destination you want to go, GPS is useless, right? The map is useless if you don't know the destination you want to go. So going into an event and having nothing specific in your mind, I'm telling you the event is not going to be so helpful. The event is going to motivate you. The event is going to make you feel good because it's all about personal development and skills. And so it's going to make you feel good, but here is the problem. It's not going to teach you how to get specific results. So most people that they want to go somewhere, but they don't know where exactly they want to go, here's what's going to happen. They will end up exactly where they don't want. So you, you, are, you go to the event. You're going to have specific goals before you enter the event. If you, if you don't have a specific goal, as I'm talking to you, do it right now. What do you want the outcome of this event to be for you? Do you want to be a senior rep by next month? Do you want to be a marketing director? Do you want to be an IMD? Whatever is your desire, write it down. This event will be the map. This event will teach you how to. And then, besides uh, having a goal, what do you want to do? You want to know your numbers. Numbers. You want to know your numbers. You want to know your number. What does this mean? You want to know how much, how many people you have, you have exactly at this event. And it's funny when I'm asking people, hey, right now we are having United event. How many people you, you had at the event or how many people you have at this event? And they don't know what to answer. It's so funny because to me it sounds like you're playing basketball, but you don't know the score. If you don't know your numbers, it's like you're playing any game, any sport, whatever you to play defense when you don't know your scoreboard. If you're in a strategy, if you're gonna have a strategy, you wanna know your numbers. So how many people you had at this event? You have to know these right before the event. How many people I have at the event? Then, you're going to create expectations, expectations and excitement. So expectations and excitement, sorry for my beautiful letters, uh, but that's a proof uh, to you, it's a proof to you that you can be IMD without having sexy letters. So here uh, is what I want to teach you. You want to have expectations and create excitement. It's not the event, but it's your attitude towards the event. So when you're calling your team before the event, this is something you need to do. You have to identify all the leaders. You have to identify all the speakers of the event, and you need to create expectations. You say, hey, listen up. Tomorrow the event is for you. It's going to be one second during the whole event that you'll hear something that can change your life. This is what happened to me. You'll hear a phrase. You'll hear... A, a, a strategy. You will have something that will totally change your life. So I, I want you to be like a, a sniper. I want you to be like a striker in football. You know, the European soccer strikers, they are waiting for the right timing, the right ball to shoot and score. So if you are not ready, when the ball is going to come to you, you are not going to score. The ball is not going to come to you over and over and over and again during a football game, it's going to come to you once. So you have to wait, you have to be ready, you have to be like a sniper looking for your target. No toilets during the event, no mobile phones, no looking at the hot girl in front of me, no looking at the hot guy in front of me. I'm focusing only on the trainer because this event can change my life forever. And last but not least, before the event, you want to call 
all your downlines, the people that are at the event, and you want to make sure that you know their goal. They must set a goal. They must have a goal. And you must know their goals. That's how you stay accountable with your downline. So you call John and you say, hey, John, we are ready to go to uh, the best event of our life. What's going to happen this weekend will be unbelievable. I want you to be ready. This event will change our lives forever. I want you to stay focused. And let me know what's your goal. What's the expectations you have? What's the outcome that you want to get right after the event is over? So if you're not doing what I'm telling you right now, if you didn't read for this event, you need to start right now. I'm telling you creating expectations and preparing your people for the event is going to make the event more effective. The event is going to work for you. And then you want to know what you do after the event. So here is what you do. Number one, in less than 48 hours, you want to promote the next event less than 48 hours after the event, you're going to promote the next event and have more numbers than the previous event. So building from event to event, it means I'm getting my numbers up from event to event. I'm increasing my numbers from event to event. So in less than 48 hours, you want to call all the people that came to the event, promote the next one. You want to call all the people that you have and didn't come to the event and make them feel guilty. <laughs> Tell them how good the event was, how the event helped you, how the event helped someone in your team, and make sure that, and even more, 48 hours of, right after the event is over. So, first thing that you want to do, you want to promote the next event, building from event to event. The second thing that you want to do, you want to push for sales. So, you see, human beings are like, Mobile phones, we need energy to work, right? If you charge your mobile 20 days and you don't use it, the energy is not going to be the same. Battery is not going to be the same. So there are many chances that it's not going to work for you. Same with human beings. Right now you have fresh knowledge. Right now you have excitement. You're motivated. Right now is the right timing to go and get some new members. Why? Because these new people, these new members, will be a product of fresh knowledge, will be a product of faith, of belief, of motivation, will be a product of high energy. So push for sales. The first week right after the event, you want to push for sales more than any time during the year. And I'm going to give you a tip. Follow up. So here is your right timing to call and follow up. It, why I'm saying this? Because now you're excited. Something changed. Some, you had something uh, which was different from what you had a week ago or two weeks ago. Usually on events, we have special promotions. You got uh, new products. Whatever it is, you have to leverage that. You have to call someone that you showed a year ago, a month ago, even a week ago, and say, Hey, Michael, it's me, it's Do you remember I showed you something a month ago, a week ago? I want to say, I'm sorry. Michael is wondering right now, why is Stavros sorry? And then I'm saying, Hey, I'm sorry because it's my fault. It's my fault that you are not a member of World Ventures. I didn't explain it in the right way. I didn't show you exactly how big it is. And listen up. I just came out of, of an event that blew my mind. It was the best event that I ever attended in my life. And I'm going to ask you to give me 20 more minutes from your life. To trust me for 20 more minutes, I have to show you exactly what I saw at this event. I'm pretty sure that you will get it this time. I'm pretty sure that you are smart enough. And once you see this, there are zero chances that you are not going to be part of us. It's my mistake that you are not a member of World Ventures right now. So please give me the chance to, sh to have a meeting with you 20 more minutes and explain you what it means. 
So if this is what you do right after an event, you, you do as many follow-ups as possible. It's the right timing. You got out of the event excited. You learned something that you didn't know a few days ago. So it's the right time to do a follow-up. It's the right time to let all this energy and excitement that you got from the event work for you. This is what I mean when I'm telling you an event can work for you. So some of you are going to the events, you do nothing from what I just told you, and you're expecting the event to be effective. It's not the event, it's the attitude towards the event. And then, what do you need to do daily? First of all, you need to understand the best you can do is the best you can do, right? Jim Rohn, the best you can do is the best you can do. So, I know some of you, this is part-time. For some of you, this is full-time. For some of you, so, what I care is that you do the best you can do. There are several things, but how hard you work on these things is on you. The harder you work, the truth is that the harder you work, the more money you make. So daily, personal development. So you see, pretty soon I realized that I'm not so smart uh, to know how to make money in an unlimited way and especially residually. So what I did, I invested time to learn from people that they know how to make money residually, passively, and instead of trusting my IQ, I trusted these business IQs, right? So I trusted these people to teach me how to make money, to teach me, you know, John Maxwell, how to become a better leader. So what I'm saying is that you invest on personal development, but this is how you do it. There are people telling me, hey, stop, I'm five years in personal development, I'm six years, I'm, and I'm, my question is, how did you develop yourself? How did you develop yourself? And they say, what do you mean? I said, you just told me you're six years in personal development. They say, I know all these quotes, I know all these books. This is not personal development, this is you learning quotes, right? This is you uh, learning from books, but I don't read books to get quotes, I read books to get ideas. If you love quotes, here's my best quote. What you get paid for the people get and read these books to get ideas. The only way that you develop yourself is by having different results from what you had yesterday or five years ago. If you're driving the same car, if you're living in the same house, if you have the same bank account, then, then you are not developing yourself. You need to understand this. So personal development, then inviting, then presenting, then closing, and last, faith. So you invite, present, and close people every single day. Here is what drives me crazy. Some of you say, I'm going to teach my downlines how to invite. I'm going to teach my downlines how to present. I'm to... The world is not going to change with your opinions. The world is not going to change with your teachings. The world is going to change with your actions. So if the world can change only with actions, guess how your binary can change? So some of you, instead of being presenters, you are presenter coaches. Some of you, instead, you, you teach more times how to invite instead of inviting. You know, you are the experts of closing. Let me tell you how you close the deal. But you never close the deal. So what we really want is you to get into action. This is what you want. This is how you can get this big, fat ring. Instead of teaching, start doing. You are watching this video right now. And some of you say, home, oh, that's good. I will learn to teach. I'm going to teach this to my people. No, I'm not. I'm not expecting you. I don't want you to learn to teach. I want you to learn to lead by example. Do whatever you want your team to do. And you see, personal development, inviting, presenting, and closing is something that you need to do every single day. Something else that you need to do every single day is having faith. Having faith in the company. Having faith in your uplines. Having faith in yourself, having faith, faith to God, faith, you need to believe that you can achieve. Here is, 
cares more than all. We all have enemies. And it's funny when some, some of you say, I don't have enemies. You know, I remember when I was a kid, the high school teacher was my enemy. The guy who wanted the same girl that I wanted was my enemy. You know, the guy who was better uh, from me in football was my enemy. Sometimes my father, my brother, my mother, they were my enemies. So growing up, I realized that I have one enemy and one enemy only. And this is the bad side of me. The enemy is in my mind. If you kill it in your mind, you will kill it in your life as well. But if the enemy exists in your mind, it exists in your life. So once I realized that I, the only enemy is me, I knew that the enemy is going to fight against me with one way. It's going to try to put faith down, my faith. It's going to try to kill my faith. And this is what happened. 2011, you know, the enemy attacked me through my best friends. And they told me, what ventures is a scam? You're never going to make it happen. You, And that enemy influenced me for a few seconds at the beginning. My faith went down. I lost faith and I was so close to quit. But then I said, you know, screw it. I'm going to keep moving forward. And faith came back. 2017, same thing. Some of my uplines, they quit company. They started promoting another MLM. And they tried to influence some of my people. Now, I was so frustrated for a few days. Faith went down. So I'm going to keep moving forward. Faith came back. 2019, exactly the same thing. An airplane did exactly the same thing. I lost faith for a few seconds. 2020, coronavirus is trying to attack you. The enemy is trying to attack you right now through coronavirus. It's the end of the world. World venture is going to go down. The economy is going to think. I lost faith for a few seconds. 2020, coronavirus is trying to think. I lost faith for a few seconds. 2020, coronavirus is trying to attack you. The enemy is trying to attack you right now through coronavirus. It's the end of the world. World venture is going to go down. The economy is going to collapse. We are all going to die. Whatever it is, these are lies. The enemy is fighting against you with all these lies. Don't let faith to go down. Keep your faith. I know what's true. It's not the over. It's not the end of it's not over yet. It's not the end of the world. I know what's true. Go world ventures is not is not going down. Corona is not gonna kill us all. I know what's true. The opportunity today is bigger than ever. This is my answers to the enemy. So you need to keep faith. We have Orthodox Easter uh, right now. And I know it, you, we got Easter all around the world. And I want to share a story from, from the Bible, actually. I'm not going to push my religion to you, no. I'm just going to share a story. I respect all the religions, okay? So, Jesus asked Peter, one of his students, to walk with him on the water. And Peter said, I can't. Jesus told him, I, the Son of God, I'm asking you to walk with me on, on the water. So have faith and follow me. Peter started walking on the water, and at some point, something happened. He lost faith, and he fell into the water. Jesus grabbed him and he said, Peter, why so small faith? What's happening to you? You see, even Jesus, the Son of God, when he was about to heal someone, he was asking them, do you believe I can heal you? Do you believe I can help you? The answer was, your faith, not me, your faith saved you. Your faith saved you. You, the enemy, is going to try to attack you with one thing and one thing only. He's going to try to put faith down, step up, and say, no, I'm not going to let you win. Sometimes the enemy is going to punch you. You need to punch back. You need to stand guard at the door of your mind. You need to protect your faith. This event can be the beginning of the biggest momentum that you ever had. 
I'm telling you, don't become an, a professional audience participator at this event. You want to go out right now, right after the event is over, and you want to take massive action. Remember what you do right after the event. You need to take massive action more than ever. Let's go and double the numbers right now. I hope that you wrote notes. I hope that you got what I told you. You keep the faith up. You do exactly what I told you to do before the event. That means right now that you're listening to me. You do exactly what I told you to do right after the event. And then you have your daily routine. And I promise you, I promise you, if you don't quit on this and you keep doing it over and over and over again, I don't know how long it's going to take. But one day, if you keep doing it, you will have a big fat ring like this. You will get a prize, prize like this. Remember, you need to pay the price to get the prize. It's easy to do, it's easier not to do, guys. But the option, the choice is yours. Let's go.